Hi, my name is Ian Faulkner Suter, uh, perhaps a lot better known as Ian Faulkner, which is how I'm known on Facebook and also on the Elephant Journal, where I write articles about healing. Now, I have very many hobbies. I, I do bodywork healing as well as being an electronic product developer. I keep bees, way too many hobbies, but this is all good now that I'm semi-retired. So because I'm semi-retired, I decided I wanted to build an electronic device that was helpful for, for healing and Im improving life. So, to give you some history of it, uh, we decided to develop a device, a modern device based on a principle discovered in 1904 in France. It was a, a device to uh, provide gentle stimulation for the brain, uh, very low frequency uh, a stimulation, very gentle to encourage the brain to resonate in a more natural and stress-free way. And it worked back in 1904. Around 1980, Bob Beck, an American engineer, uh, he developed this idea further and came up with a number of different frequencies to produce different effects. So we were fascinated by this. We decided to make a modern uh, 2017, actually it was 2015 where, where we first did it, um, we produced a modern device and we included some research by the Dalai Lama where he found that uh, his best meditators brains would resonate at 40 Hertz at the peak of their meditation so so that's uh, that's what we decided to do so here's our device we called it the mind body harmonizer and we added, these are the standard frequencies that Bob Beck would have used, and we added the 40 hertz stimulation on, and we sold several hundred units. Now, this unit uh, does, there's ear clips that go on the ears, and, uh, and then you can turn it on. It's also designed to be blind friendly. You can probably hear the switch clicking there. We wanted to make sure that blind people would be able to operate our device as well. So there are a number of problems that people suffer from, including sadness, anxiety, um, and also the inability to concentrate. And we were interested also in a device to help people with meditation. So we manufactured a few hundred units, and these are the effects that we found from our testing. It did brighten people's mood. Uh, it also helped people to be more heart-centered. Now, that was not expected. Uh, students were able to concentrate in school better, and it, more importantly, I guess, uh, they could memorize things, but also in a lecture, they could pay attention to what was happening instead of thinking about the exam that was coming up in the next class or wh whatever. So I actually found it helpful when designing the machine itself. I would wear the machine as I improved on the design. So, so anyways, that's uh, sort of a bootstrap, picking yourself up by your bootstraps. Was, it was helpful in the design. Uh, so, I won't say too much more, um, I won't show you how to use it, but it is, it is very simple, you just uh, clip it on your ears, you turn it on, it runs for 20 minutes and it does its thing, and uh, most people only use the 40 hertz setting, they don't uh, use the historical settings. So, I'll just turn you over to the next video where Alexa Hansen, a student from the University of Victoria in Anthropology, used the device uh, to help her in school. And uh, so anyways, thanks for visiting and we're very glad to present this device to the world.